Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Dectacular! Where my microphone is farther away than it should be because kittens have been believing it is a toy all day. Right before I went live with the show, the cats did an amazing bit of repelling. They saw a green screen and thought, we have to kill it. They jumped up, dug their claws in, and pulled it right down. I love them so much. Anything they want to do is going to be fantastic. So, um, I, I, I want to talk a little bit about a concept that I'm trying to get to work somehow. It's this beautiful spell, Echo of Medivh. Look at this hot, sexy little card right there. I mean, if you're not turned on right now, that's weird, right? I'm ludosexual. If you don't know what ludo means, get to googling. Hello, kitty. We got a cat. We got an awesome card. The cat is coming out on camera side. Look, there's literally the cat is right there. Look, there's the mouth of the cat. Yep, it's lap time. All right, we got a cat in the lap. And this is interesting to me because of its interaction with Molten Giant. Okay, I want you just to get aroused. Oh my god, who's hard for the card, right? Like, Molten Giant, Echo of Mediv, we go, we go crazy. Yeah, Reclip says more like hard stone. That's right. Everyone is metaphorically and literally aroused right now. Isn't that right, kitty? It's weird to ask for your cat for reassurance when talking about boners, but that's what you do when you're a cat owner. Everyone in chat is hard, isn't that right, kitty? You get straight fucked in the head when you get a cat. So right here we have the Molten Giant Echo of Medivh combo, which is really interesting to me. And I just want to try to make that work! Oh my god, oh! Now, I don't know if I should also go for the duplicate, but let's talk about some must-haves. we got to get the ice block in there. Good kitty. Good kitty. <laughs> oh my god, I freaked everyone out in chat! It's amazing! Everyone's upset! I upset the whole world! Oh, free me, dude. Welcome to the day nights. Oh, this is... I'm gonna be just saying insane cat shit. Non-stop. Okay, so I don't really know what the rest of this looks like, but I'm gonna give some shots at this. So I think that we'll need some general explosive sheepage. Actually, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm actually going to stop this. Do I wanna finish it automatically? The reason I'm going to stop this is to show a little bit of um, the sort of decks I've been seeing as I've been playing. These hyper, insanely, stupidly aggressive decks, like, look at this. Jeeves, at the end of each player's turn, that player draws until they have three cards. Shut up, Zoo. I'm Zoo with any race I want. I'm Zoo with any class I want. I'm Zoo with any cards I want. Look at this. Oh my god. Draw three cards? Oh, look at this. Okay, let me let me show you how the, the mech hole mage works. It's basically a whole bunch of low ramp mech cards that rely on the goblin blast mage. And then a whole bunch of the undertaker cards that rely on continuing the frustrations of the past. Yes, kitty. Yes, kitty. That's right. Good kitty. Chew on the microphone cord. Or my iPhone headphones. I don't need it. Just stop it, kitty. 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 No, kitty. Kitty. Alright, we're just gonna do this. We don't we don't ever want. Oh yeah. Tinker Town Technician. We're gonna hold up the cord just so the kitty doesn't destroy it, right? Ow! Why are you chewing on me? I'm not a toy. We're about to get two cats. I swear to god, I gotta get different headphones. I have to get wireless headphones now that I have kitties. The cat is looking. Did this deck have unstable portal? No! It's more reliable without the unstable portal, man. Just go straight aggro. See, this is what interests me, is that everyone seems to be going aggro, and just, if you've ever watched any of the shows I do, I like to go against the grain of what everyone else is doing. And the reasoning is because I like exploring. And with a deck like Zoo, great deck, awesome. When I'm in win mood, I'll do that. This kitty is just devouring the microphone cords. Yes, kitty, yes, kitty, kitty. This is this is the entire show, it's just cats and cards and discussions of erections. Yeah, hello kitty. 
Yeah, like, there's so much research already going into Zoo that if I'm in the mood to, like, try hard and stuff, I'll do that and I'll give that a shot. And that's fun in a different way. I love the exploration, so I really want to try to make, like, a super controlly deck work. Get it, Despy. You killed the cord. What is the cord feeling like? These are surprisingly resilient cords. Do you just like having it in your mouth? All right, ship cannon. Oh my god, it's pirate. It's a pirate rouge. All right, so we don't have any mechs. All right, so we're gonna do one of these, and we're gonna do one of those. Hello, kitty. Cats, cards, and cords. Oh my god, see, here's what Despy loves, is when you just scratch the underside of her head. Look at this, look at this cat, it's just limp. Look, I can begin to manipulate the limbs however I want. It doesn't matter, because I'm getting right under the head. Yes, oh, you want more? Yes. Ow, ow. Good mm. kitty. Good kitty. I'm telling you, having kittens is the best, man. The cats are unimaginably unintelligent. I should think more about the deck. I mean, these cats... This cat got a shoelace on its head and lost his mind. I mean, the cat began to go insane. What do you know? It's Jeeves. All right, well. Ah, we're in a little bit of a toughie. All right, because, I mean, I kind of want to run out Jeeves, yo, but I got to wait a little bit. I got to wait till I'm starting to drop stuff. We haven't gotten the best curve. <laughs> Excuse me, that's not the word I meant to use. We haven't gotten the best starting hand. But I've been seeing so many aggros that I really want to try to make the control thing work. I mean, even this rogue that's like pirates, I think is like an aggro pirates deck. See, look at, look at the kitty. Hello, kitty. Hello. Look at the chillest cats. Chill, fearless, unbelievably unintelligent. Sheriff chased her tail for an hour. Like, in circles. Like, the thing that you used to do to try to vomit as a kid. Alright, we got two kitties. We got two kitties. Sheriff did this for an hour. I've never seen someone so entertained. Oh, the cats are licking each other. That's so cute. Oh my god, look at the cats. They're just biting each other in the face. How is that fun? How is that fun? The things that cats do to each other is insane. I'm a first time cat owner. I don't understand how people... All right, all right, we got two kitties on the left. So far, so good. The things that cats do to each other is just straight fucked up, man. Uh, God, I really... This is a... This is bad. I think... I think I'm just doing this. I think I'm about to run straight headlong and do a blade flurry, but that's alright. But yet, like, all these first-time cat owner feelings, I don't have. This is... They're all new to me. They're all new to me. I, everyone else is just like, yeah, the cats bite each other in the face, and then they take a nap together. Yeah, Stab Train says, in what way is this a control deck? This is not a control deck. This is the sort of deck to show what the aggro decks are on the ladder. This is a super duper aggro deck. So I want to show this one to try to do the exact opposite of it when we do get to constructing decks. Oh, look at the perfect aim I have. Boom! This is just the auto barber. Kitty, if you hit the escape button. We got blad flooded. It's okay, his life's pretty low. Mac Warper! Mac Warper! Give him minion taunt. Excellent. Sheriff is super interested in this. Deadly Poisson! Alright, he's gonna hit here. Then pass a room. Thinking the pass a room. I was hoping this would be really fast. Oh shit, the cat is... The cat's watching Hearthstone intently. No, don't claw the screen. The mouse cursor is not an animal. Oh, this is this is the worst part about Hearthstone. Alright, good thing I have this headphone cord to distract the cat. We're gonna lose a lot today. I thought this would be fast. I thought this would be a fast deck. That I could show this quickly and be done. Oh, what a hole. Alright, here it comes, kitty. I am 
Somebody tinkering? Give your friendly minion stealth until your next turn. Ooh, I know what I want to do there. I think this is the one I do. Yeah, there we go. Good. Cat's now in the lap, purring, closing her eyes. Good. Ship cannon! Give me that! It's my ship cannon. Can't wait to get Jeeves out there. But I'm, I'm interested in the Echo of Medivh and all the things that it does. I don't know if I want to run duplicates, because it's like a it's like a reliable duplicate. Maybe I run a duplicate and I keep throwing out little pronto tontos. What you doing, kitty? Come here, kitty. Lie down. Oh, this cat is purring so hard right now. Yes, yes. Yes. Bite my hand. Bite my hand. It's a toy. Lose your sense of balance while sitting down. All right, I'm going Jeevesy, baby. Blood and plunder. Blood and plunder. Oh crap! Is that a random enemy? Wow. Can I help you, sir? Stealth. Freeze. All right, let's draw those cards. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got a crowd favorite. Man. You know, we'll see. I... It, God, that's such a sick card. Is that two mana? Damn. Trust the pirates. Are you kidding me in half right now? I think we're dead. I think we're super dead. That's fine. We're gonna make an even sweeter deck. This is just this is just straight cased. We want straight case on this one. We're we're gonna lose. All right, let's get that frost bolt. Ooh. Hit this four times. There we go. When day nine dies, does he reincarnate as day ten? Ah, good to see you, free me, dude. We got to Polcat as well, and Akanga. This chord is like so interesting to you, endlessly. I'm gonna move it over here, though. I'm gonna block you. The cat will not be deterred. This guy's toast. Dude, this pirate deck looks unreal sick. Wow. Holy shit. Tinker's overpowered oil. God, I should concede now, shouldn't I? Kitty. Goodbye, kitty. Alright, kitty. Alright. Alright. We have had enough fun. Put you on the ground. Good kitty. Alright. All we have to do is make sure the kitty does not hop onto the power button. Well played. Alright. It's good that we weren't doing this deck in the show today. I thought, here's what I thought was going to happen. I was going to run out in a crazy aggro deck that's going to show you all what I've been seeing in the last 24 hours. And it turned out it took, I was a grueling amount of time. It was like 11 minutes. Alright. Echo, Echo of Day 9. Okay. Echo of Medivh is super cool. I think that if we're going to go for something controlling, we should do the Arcane Intellects. I think that makes sense, and I, I've been feeling this. I think I do have to go for the Acolyte of Pain for the card draw, I think. I think, I think, I'm hoping. Okay, so we have the Explosive Sheep for the controlling. What else do we want? I think, I think in general I want an Alexstrasza. In general, I think I also want some Mountain Giants, if we're going to be drawing a lot. And let's see where that leaves us. Okay, so I think Frost Bolts are a must. I'm, I don't think I want to put an Unstable Portal. I'm not sure. 
I'm not sure if I want to get the unstable portals in there. I think just for awesomeness sake, I might do that. I'm going to try to do the flame cannons, because right now we have, like, some single target things are deal withable. This is going to be my little sweeping buddy. <laughs> Reclipses, this is basically a freeze giant that creates infinity giants. That's the one. Alright, explosive sheep. I think, I think I also want the Frost Nova, um, Doomsayer combo as well. Alright, so we gotta, we gotta get some more awesomeness in here though. I actually don't think I want the fireballs. I actually think I don't want this. I just am in the mood for the Echo. Let's see, are there any other GVG cards that we can be running out? Uh, chugga 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 chugga. Flame Leviathan, I don't actually know if this is gonna be good at all. It might be. It's kind of cool. In it goes. Alright. Let's see what those more mid-rangey dudes are about. I mean, I don't know if I should be doing things like a little exorcist. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. We definitely need the UMAD scientist. Saint Nico says, Unstable portals gave me Wisp, Rivendare, and Kel'Thuzad today. Two out of three. I'm just so fascinated by this. Maybe we should be popping in the unstable portals, man. I really think that this Flame Leviathan should be cut. I don't think this belongs in here at all. It's like a it's like a, an unpredictable Baron Geddon. I'm not really going to have much out, so I want to run it. Because we got that, we got our explosive sheep, we got the Echo of Medivh. I feel like I want some more Echo of Medivh targets. Okay, so here's some things I think I need. I think I need a Flame Strike or something like this. I think I think I might need a Blizzard or something like that. Just, just a one and one I think I need a Polymorph, and I feel like a Sylvanas seems good. I really don't think this Flame guy is going to be in there. This kind of looks, this looks more like a traditional thing, but I got my Flame Cannon in here. Maybe we'll be okay. I think Piloted Sky Golem is unreal sexy. I just want to get the Echo to work. Is this actually really bad to... Uh see, I... Uh, uh, I only have two ice blocks in here. I think I'm really light on the answers for the low droppies. Whatever. Like, whatever. So much bard wiping. Let's see how it works, let's see how it works. Let's just give it a shot. Because this episode is about research. What I want to do is I want to just look at what the control mage can do. Trogzorus greater than Leviathan, says Warble. I think almost certainly. Antonidas, almost certainly. But I just got the Leviathan, so I'm going to put it in the deck. All right, you can't blame a guy for doing that. Antonidas with... Put a copy of each friendly minion in your hand. Ooh. Yeah, Akan Gut says, I've been playing on EU all day and still mostly face hunters. Dude, that old face hunter. Oh shit, really? Flame Leviathan? Can that just pop out now? Oh come on, man. Oh, not really. Oh. Oh god. Oh, I can't believe I've done this. Shoot him all. Flame Leviathan in the opening hand. God, I just wanted to make a deck with the Flame Leviathan. Earlier today, I played Mad Scientist Explosive Sheep, pinging my sheep to set up an ice block. Who's the man? Kaboom! Give me that ice block. Woohoo! Boom! Oh, ah, ah! Chris Adon says, Mountain Giant seems terrible. LOL. 
Yeah, it's not. Nope, never mind. You're mistaken, friend. I appreciate that you put thought into that, but guess what? No. Oh, look at look at my my plan is already coming to fruition before my eyes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Ursadon. You see what happens? The slap in the face is real. Take that, panda bear guy. I'll just go to panda bear guy town and have a drink at the bar and get rejected by all the panda bear people you hit on. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, we played it out of order. Hi, Subloka. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Kitty meows. Meow. All right. So far, so good. The plan is working, man. God. Oh, it's, it's these turns where you just think and think and think, and then you don't do anything. Ugh. Kitties. What's happening? While you're putting six or more cards in hand. Is he gonna do it one more time? All right, we're gonna lose some cards here. It's a Doomsayer. We lost Polymorph, that's a good one to lose. That's not a good one to lose. Okay, so we're going to... Cool. Ka boom. Kachu, kachu, kachu. All right. Who is ready for the turn? Ah! All right. Just actually do anything you want. I'm the best. I didn't want to do a Doomsayer because next turn I can get both Mountain Giants out if I don't do anything. Drink with me, friend. Oh shit, Panda Bear time. Oh my god, you guys how many battle cries there are in this set? Oh! Oh! Oh, that's a good one to have handy. Kachu and Kacham. The flickety flickety flam. See this? He used both saps already, right? I think the saps were used in the previous game I played. Maybe I should run a pyroblast. So many options. Not because it's good, but because when you win games with pyroblast, you feel real naughty. By the way, okay, I I emailed Blizzard and I asked. Yeah, that's fine. Just give, give them all to me. Ooh, an Echo Medivh. Yes, please. I emailed Blizzard and I asked how many games of Hearthstone I had played. Because I really, really, really wanted to know how many games I'd played, how many hours I'd played, any information they could provide, and... Oh, we're gonna be down one. I asked for how many games I'd played, how many hours, and how much money I'd spent. They said they don't track those first two stats. So they don't have those. I think that's what I want to do. Just run a Doomsayer out like a boss. You know what? Boom! And they didn't have the first two, but they told me, I asked how much room I spent in Hearthstone, and I spent $582 in Hearthstone. I didn't realize you could reach out for this. I spent 400 in the first two weeks of owning the game. 
because uh, I wanted to have all the cards to prepare for the BlizzCon tournamenty thingy. And I just put it as a business write-off, so don't worry about it. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then, um, and then, yeah, and then I just kept doing that stuff, right? 582. What's Yesterday I opened $140 of cards, and I guess all the rest is arena because it was like that 400 at the start, the 140 just then, and some more. Dude, and I'm, uh, let me tell you something, I am super happy. Oh, you're gonna eviscerate us. Cool, I don't mind that. Alright, that's also fine. I got, I got more. Um, yeah, do I want to do that? Is that what I want to do? Get out of here. God, it would have been so much sweeter the other way around. Yeah, so I mean I'm 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 a big believer again in spending very little on things where you don't matter. Or not very little on things where you don't matter. Very little on things that don't matter to you. If it does not really matter to you, don't Don't spend the money. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter to you. Don't spend a lot there. All the furniture in my house, super cheap, super basic. My sofa, it's an Ikea sofa, it's an Ektor. But! Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Get a little echo time coming up soon. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, 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 so. Check it, check it. But on things that you enjoy doing, spend all your money, man. Spend all that money. And Hearthstone is something I enjoy doing. Five hundred and eighty-two dollars. How much have you spent on Hearthstone? Let me know. Oh, I remember that card. BAM! Cup. Cup. 80 euros? You trying for legend again this season? I don't know if I'm really trying for anything this season. At some point in my life, I want to do that. At some point in my life, I would like to be the guy that hits legend. I don't know if that's going to happen anytime soon. So when we come back from this here little thing... Actually, let's do the shortest break of all time. Let's actually queue up a game and run a 30 second commercial because I want to keep playing. I'm going to keep doing the controlling.